you Hi, say. I'm Texas Governor Greg Abbott. First, let me say thank you to my friend and your previous chairman, Representative Phil King, for all he is doing to advance conservative principles at forums like this, as well as back home in the great state of Texas. Second, I want to thank Alec for the essential role that it plays in advancing conservative ideas across America. Now, I got to tell you, I regret not being with you in person. Unfortunately, I recently suffered second and third degree burns to my feet. You know, people ask, what happened? I'll be candid. I so much wanted Hillary to feel the burn, I guess it just backfired. In all seriousness, I did want to be with you to talk about the path forward for our nation, about how critical it is for state legislatures to lead the way. And let me start with a quote. If the federal government should overpass the just bounds of its authority and make a tyrannical use of its powers, the people must redress the injury done to the Constitution. That sounds like something said these days. In fact, it was said by Alexander Hamilton. He knew we would face days like this. We need to come to grips with the reality. The biggest threat to our freedom today is a federal government that ignores the Constitution. Now, we were warned about this moment by James Madison. He said that encroachment by the federal government on state authority would be signals of alarm. Well, the alarm bells are ringing. I write about this in my new book, Broken But Unbowed. I write about how each branch of government is broken. Each branch has strayed from its constitutional role. But as a country, we must remain unbowed and join together to restore our Constitution. The problems ailing America are far bigger than what any one president can solve. And as the person myself who holds the record for suing the federal government, I can tell yeah. you it takes more than lawsuits to fix a broken Washington. The founders foresaw these very problems, and they gave us a tool to fix them. They wrote Article 5 into the Constitution. That gives states, not Washington insiders, the authority to amend the Constitution. We must restore the balance of power between the federal government and the states, with states leading the way. That's why I'm joining other states to call for a much needed convention of states. We're going to do what insiders would never do. The convention of states can and must be limited. It will propose specific amendments like term limits, a balanced budget amendment, restoring the 10th amendment. Now, some people say that Allowing states to lead the amendment process is a radical departure from the Constitution. To the contrary, it is in the Constitution. What's radical is the states not enforcing the power the Constitution gives us. Radical is doing nothing to protect our liberties from the federal government itself. Believe me, I worry far less about a runaway convention than I fear our runaway federal government. When the Texas legislature convenes this coming January, I will seek a resolution for Texas to join the Convention of States. In addition to states like 
Alabama, Alaska, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, and Tennessee, I would ask that your state legislatures join us in calling for a convention of states. Let's do what the founders intended us to do. Let's do what's necessary to fix what's broken in Washington. You are the co-authors of the future of this nation. Let's make it a future filled with promise by charting the course for freedom and opportunity. God bless you all, and may God bless America.